South Lake Tahoe, the year-round vacation haven in California, is facing a long-dreaded threat as the monstrous Caldor fire makes a downslope run toward the evacuated city. It had jumped that granite, and now it's in the Lake Tahoe Basin, and homes are threatened, and our community is threatened, and I never thought that that was possible. Firefighters are racing to put out embers flying far and wide, driven by red flag warning winds gusting up to 35 miles per hour. The U.S. Forest Service reports embers landing up to a half mile away from the blaze. That's why officials ordered an evacuation of South Lake Tahoe's more than 20,000 residents. Many of them sat for hours, Nevada bound, on clogged highways on Monday. Mother Nature? She's pissed. Hey, brother. Say hi. Kevin Cooper, who lives on the western side of South Lake Tahoe, held off on evacuating until Tuesday. He's worried hot embers like this one that fell near his house during a fire more than a decade ago will soon be raining from the sky. That's what I fear here at the house is that when these start falling again, my neighborhood and the surrounding neighborhoods will be at jeopardy. It's time, with it being in the basin right now, for us to leave. Never in my 30 years here in Tahoe th thought that a fire could not only go from State Route 88 all the way over to Highway 50, but now be encroaching on Kirkwood Mountain Resort, one mile away from the valley of Kirkwood Mountain Resort, also engulfing Sierra Mountain Resort, and then dropping into the Tahoe Basin. We, we could have never fathomed this, and here it is today. The Caldor Fire has scorched nearly 300,000 square miles since breaking out on August 14th. The threat of fire is so widespread that the U.S. Forest Service announced Monday that all national forests in California would be closed until September 17th. Authorities report more than 600 structures have been destroyed and at least 33,000 more remain threatened.